Here's how to fix your iPhone if it's not working after an update. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you just updated the iOS operating system, but it's not working as you expect, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's open up these settings here. And once we're in the settings, the first thing that we will do is tap on general and software update. Make sure it went through the entire process of updating it. Sometimes it can get stuck or lagged on the update and it might be requesting the update or working on it and it hasn't fully finished. So if it has fully finished, then you're good to go. The next step that I would recommend doing is you're gonna force restart your phone. So you're gonna tap the volume up volume down, and then you're gonna press and hold that side button. While you're pressing and holding it, keep it hold basically until you see the Apple logo. So the entire screen will go black, and then you'll see the little Apple logo at the very top that will force restart it, and a lot of times fixes bugs or issues. The next thing we can do is head back into your settings here, and once you're in here, let's tap on iPhone storage, and make sure that you haven't used up all of the space on your phone. So after you go through the update process, potentially you've used up all your space. And if you're down to something less than say a few hundred megabytes, then I would recommend going into any of these apps and deleting them or offloading them just to free up space. Now, the last thing that you can do is we'll go back here, tap on transfer or reset iPhone and reset. That's on here, tap on reset all settings. And I'm gonna enter in my passcode here. And you'll see this will reset all of the settings on my iPhone back to the factory default. A lot of times this fixes any kind of bugs or glitches as you update the iOS operating system. Sometimes it cannot work very well with the settings that you have previously enabled or disabled on your iPhone. So just resetting those all to factory default will a lot of times fix issues that you might be having. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.